medic kidnapped along with a patient in the back of an ambulance. And when she tried to get help for post-traumatic stress disorder, she found out she couldn't get the help she needed through the state. There is a push to change that in Ohio. Angela Ingram has the story. Uh, somebody has stolen my ambulance. I am in the back. Okay, stay on the phone with me, okay? When Samantha Arnold went to work on October 20th of 2017, she had no way of knowing someone would put her life and others in danger. We got called out to a normal sick call at an intersection we've been to probably a hundred times before. My partner got out of the back door, and as the back door slammed shut, I heard the front door shut. The man drove off, kidnapping the Dayton EMT and her patient. Samantha called dispatchers for help. And hopefully not allow him to wreck and kill somebody that was walking down the street. After the ordeal, Samantha tried to get help for post-traumatic stress disorder. And just even the shutting of a car door affected me. And when I went home that night after I was checked out of the hospital, I had to have my husband turn the TV off because he was watching a show with sirens. But she found out she was not eligible because she didn't have a physical injury. Right now, you can only file a claim if you have an accompanying physical injury to go along with a traumatic experience. Some insurances don't cover some things. Um, some insurances cover a lot, but there is no universal coverage, help for everybody. Mark Hill with the Ohio Association for Professional Firefighters says it's not uncommon for first responders to battle PTSD. Murder, um, sexual assaults, um, child abuse. We see these things on a daily basis. After seeing those stressful incidents day in and day out, a lot of people turn to alcohol, uh, drugs. Uh, we have a lot of suicides in the fire service. Firefighters and medics statewide are pushing for House Bill 308. It would help with coverage. Hill says it's not so that firefighters could leave on permanent disability, but it's just to help them cope with trauma. I don't want anybody else to go through what I had to go through to get treatment. They shouldn't have to fight to be able to have somebody help them through to return to something that they love to do. Angela Ingram, Local 12 News. And House Bill 308 is still sitting in committee. There was a similar push before to get a bill passed, but it didn't make a deadline and was cut out of the budget.